my name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm really excited. I'm going to be sharing with you four new DIYs that I made using adultery items. And they turned out amazing with a really high-end looking. And I really hope that you like them. And if you do, please give me a big thumbs up. That really helps to support my channel. And make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I upload a new video. And guys, before I start with this um, video, I want to say thank you so much because we hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel. And that makes me feel so happy and so blessed and just thank you so much and I was thinking a great idea to um, like celebrate together and I think a great idea is to share with you that me and my husband make a new channel for you guys so we're going to be sharing main projects um, or home improvements and I'm going to be decorating all the things with the DIYs that I made in this channel that makes me feel so happy is our new journey together the name of our channel is Jasmine home and the link is going to be in the description box of this video so you can go subscribe and see our first DIY video that we made and I also want to make a giveaway for you guys but all the details for the giveaway for the 100,000 subscribers is going to be at the end of this video so don't go stay there watch the video enjoy and see you at the end okay guys so for the first project i will be using this galvanized bucket um it is from dollar tree and i really love this bucket but i wanted to decorate for fall and what is right it does not work so i'm going to be using nail polish remover and i'm going to basically erase those words Okay, once you have erased the letters, this is how it will look. And now I want to add details in copper color because I think that these two colors look perfect together. So I'm only going to be painting the top edge of the bucket and the bottom part. So for that, um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is to use tape, um, this blue tape, it is from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cover everything that I don't want to be painted. Guys, I also add this paper because I'm going to be painting my bucket with spray paint and I want to make sure to cover everything very well and then I'm going to be painting my bucket using copper color and I use this spray paint. Once everything is done, you can remove the paper and the tape from your bucket. And guys, um, just in case, I bought this spray paint in Amazon and I love how it looks. So in the description, you can find the link of this product. From there, you can place a ribbon or maybe a bow in the center, or you can place a stencil or stickers. And I decided to make this decal with my Cricut and I stick it in the center of my bucket. And just in case, I'm going to be leaving you the link of the SVG file in the description box, um, just in case that you want to use it. Once the bucket is ready, you can fill it with stems, flowers, or maybe pumpkins or whatever you want. And I'm going to be putting this paper or you can put maybe a bag just to fill it. And then you can add Spanish moss. And finally, um, I just decided to put three pumpkins on different sizes, colors, and textures. And I also add a little bit of greenery and that will be all. Once you're finished, this will be the result of the first project and I really love how it looks and how fun it can be to decorate this bucket and it is super budget friendly and it looks amazing! Okay. 
Okay, for the next project, I'm going to be using these stir sticks from Walmart. They are the five gallons ones, and it brings three in each package for only one dollar. And in total, I will be using five sticks for this project. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to choose four sticks and with my saw machine I'm going to be cutting the end of the sticks um, where you can see like that wooden design. Once all the four sticks are cut you can put them all together um, very straight and you need to make sure that the stick that um, you didn't cut is in the center. So that's why you need five. You're going to put two on one side and the other two on the other side and the largest one in the center then to join all the sticks I'm going to be using um, about five popsicle sticks and I'm going to glue them with hot glue on the back side you can use hot glue or maybe wooden glue to make sure that it's going to be stronger now I want these to look like a big wooden paddle cutting board and to make it look better I think it's very important if you sand the edges so for that I'm going to be using my Dremel and I'm going to sand all the edges just to make them look rounder and better I'm going to be sanding all the edges and just in case um, this Dremel is from Amazon and in the description of this video you can find a link of this product just in case that you are interested I want this DIY to be like a wooden pedal pedestal so for the legs I'm going to be using four of these sticks that I cut about two inches long just from a piece of wood that I have at home so I decide to glue one to each sides of the wooden pedal board with hot glue or maybe you can use wooden glue to make it stronger guys if you don't have these types of wood you maybe can use like candle holders or or maybe the lid of something that you have at home and that you think is going to look good once everything is glue I'm going to be painting this entire piece using my Waverly waxing antique color guys if you want you can use maybe wood stain I prefer to use this one because it doesn't smell so bad like the wood stain or you can also paint these and give it the color you prefer Once everything is dry, it's time to decorate and you can decorate this piece um, for any season. That's one of the reasons that I really love this DIY and I'm going to decorate it for fall by placing this big ceramic pumpkin that I have and I get from a thrift store. And I'm going to add some leaves and you can add also a smaller Dollar Tree pumpkins like this ones that I already paint in copper color in another video. And you can fill in empty spaces with deer antlers, cotton balls, smaller pumpkins, greenery, foxtail. And you can also add vases um, with wheats or maybe candles for a cozy vibe. And that's what I did. I changed it a little bit and I placed this decor in my dining table I think this project looks beautiful with a high end looking but actually is a very inexpensive piece to do using things from Dollar Tree or maybe things that you have at home or things that you can get for only $1 Okay, for the next project, I will be using this Dollar Tree glass bowl and it comes in a set of four. I'm only going to need one for this DIY and I'm also going to be using a piece of Dollar Tree ribbon. I really like this one. It's supposed to be like cream color, but I'm just reusing this one and I really like it because the unique design it has. And what I'm going to be doing is to paint both pieces with my spray paint in metallic copper color. Once the paint is dry, I will stick this hurricane vase on the top of the glass bowl that must be upside down to make it look like a vase. And to glue these two pieces together, I'm going to be using E6000 glue and hot glue. From there, what I'm going to be doing is to glue the piece of ribbon with 
hot glue between the hurricane base and the glass bowl. Um, this is going to make our lantern look like a little bit better and that you cannot see like the union of both pieces. You can leave your project like this or you can add the details and I'm going to be gluing a piece of like a small stick and also a very small like wooden circle that I have and I paint both pieces with copper spray paint and this is going to basically be like a system to, to turn on your lamp so you most stick them where the piece of ribbon is. I really hope that makes sense but just remember you don't need to do this, this is like an extra but I think it looks good. Finally, you can put a battery candle if you want or maybe a real candle and that will be it. Guys, this will be the result of the third project and I love how it looks. I think it is the perfect piece to add in your fall decor. It is simple and easy to make. For the last project, I'm going to be making a wreath using this wood blend um, wreath from Dollar Tree. Um, this is the biggest one they have and it is perfect for this project. So I'm going to be decorating this wreath using Dollar Tree wreaths in two different colors and I buy about two of each color. I will also be using these willows um, in color like this is like mustard color. I also get the Stall Tree Foxtail. I think it is beautiful and it is perfect for my wreath. So I bought two of these color and I also get two in the mustard color. Okay, to be able to place them in my wreath, I'm going to cut each stem or wire apart and I'm going to begin to place them around the wreath. Um, you can use glue to peel them but I don't think it's necessary. I think the key is on the wreath that you are using. I think this one is great for this project and you can tangle the wires with the wreath and that will work. First, I put the foxtails in my wreath, creating like a pattern with the two colors that I had. Then I'm going to be placing the willows and I really love them because they add a lot of like volume to the wreath and it's going to make it look bigger and full. And finally guys, you can place the wheats um, interleaving the colors that you use. Remember that you can put more colors or more stems to your wreath if you want and once you're finished guys this will be the result. I think it's one of my favorite projects and I spent like $11 in this wreath and I really love how it looks. It was very easy to do and it looks amazing and it's perfect for fall. I really hope that you liked today's video and all the DIYs that I made and that this video helps you and inspires you to be creative. 
Okay guys, so I really hope that you like all the DIYs ideas that I made. If you like them, please a big thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed, that you hit the bell and that you share those ideas with friends and family. Okay, so now for the giveaway details. I'm going to be um, giving away a few things that I made and that makes me feel so happy because you're going to have a piece of me at your home. So I made these three signs. They are wood, this one says bless thankful and grateful and they are perfect to add to your chair tray or in any decor area that you have and i really love the colors and i think they are so cute so made this garland this beads garland and it says fall this camera doesn't focus anyway it is going to be like a box of goodies i also made six decals for you guys i made this one it says give thanks um, it is about four by four inches. I made four decals. It says gather, enjoy, um, eat, and love. I made a DIY using um, these same decals, and that project turned out amazing. So I'm going to be adding this to the giveaway box, and I'm also going to be adding this Hello Fall. They are all in black vinyl. And the last thing is going to be a $50 gift card from Dollar Tree. To participate in this giveaway, it's very simple you just have to be subscribed to our new channel jazz on my home and you also need to comment in the latest video it was uploaded today august 20th so you need to make sure that you are subscribed there and that you comment on that video to participate in the giveaway and i'm going to be announcing and contacting the winner on september 1st on my social medias i'm going to be leaving you all the rules of this giveaway on the description box of this video just in case that you have any question and and that will be all guys thank you so much for all the love and support and see you on my other channel okay bye guys